minutes. The beauty of asking Nick Lidstrom to join you is he's never out of breath. No matter at what point during the course of the evening, he's always got some breath for us. Congratulations on, on your team's win. You're on as good a roll, I think, as your team has been all season. Thanks, John. Yeah, I think we're playing real well, especially without the puck. And uh, tonight we... You know, we got the first goal. We took the crowd out of, out of it a little bit, but I thought we were playing real solid, playing our positions real well. And not only that, it seems that this team has ratcheted up physical play because that was a concern coming in because Columbus has such big bodies. Uh, in that regard, I think you've outplayed them. I think we've been able to get on their D, get the puck in behind their D, and get a good forecheck on them and really put pressure on their D so they have to throw it around the, uh, around the board. So I think we're doing a good job at that. You have played first playoff games in other places, in Nashville and in San Jose. Describe the atmosphere as this game began here in Columbus tonight. I thought it was a great uh, atmosphere in here. I thought the uh, you know the real excitement in, in the building. You can see even before the game, pulling up here on the bus, that uh, you know the fans were really into it tonight. How hard is that fourth game to win in a playoff series, particularly when you've won the first three? We know they're going to be desperate. They're not going to give up. We know they're going to be coming after us even harder uh, in game four. And, you know, something we have to be prepared for. And, you know, we have to come out with the same solid uh, defensive effort again. We have made so much mention of Rick Nash. He finally got a point in, in tonight's game. But overall, I mean, he is their scoring leader for a team that doesn't score a whole lot of goals. You must take great satisfaction in your ability, your team's ability, to shut him down. Yeah, I think we're doing a great job, especially putting backside pressure on them, having our forwards come back hard and, and not giving a whole lot of time with a with a puck. And the D is trying to stand up and take that uh, ice away, uh, away from him right in front of them. So I think we're doing a good job at that. Any issue tonight with them having the last change, being on home ice? Uh, a little bit. You have to be uh, more aware of going on and off the ice. You have probably a few more shifts than you usually have at home, but uh, you know, just another challenge. There was a moment after Ozzie made one of his many saves tonight where he, he went down a little awkwardly. How much concern was there about him perhaps tweaking a leg muscle? Well, I always a little bit worried when you see something like that, but I thought he bounced right back, and he, you know, he made some great saves uh, late in this game, too, to uh, not let him get into the game. This is a different guy than we saw during the regular season. Do you sense a different Ozzie? Do you sense a different aura about him in the dressing room? Uh, I think you, you can sense the whole team is, is revving it up a little bit more. I think we're more focused, and I think that shows on, on Ozzy, too. He's, he's very focused uh, you know, during warm-up or before the game. It looks like he's very prepared to play, and I think that you can see the whole team is, is really focused like that.